I don't think I can come on the dates we talked about at first. We are in Annabelle's house. I love that you're in for a surprise now, girl. What the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Hey y'all, how are you all doing? Today I want to tell you a story about how I massively let down my girlfriend who lives in a different country than me. It all started with a phone call. Hello. Hey Annabelle. Hey. Uh, Are you okay? I've got some bad news uh, and uh, I guess some good news. Some bad news and good news, okay. I guess some good news. I'll take them both together, okay? Okay. Now I was basically pissing myself at this point. I was so nervous to give this phone call. My voice was cracking, my hands were shaking, and I remember feeling physically ill to my stomach. Because, you know, you don't want to intentionally let down the people that you love. I've gotten a job that requires me to work a couple of weeks in September. Okay. I don't think I can come on the dates we talked about at first. Okay. And that was it! She felt horrible and I felt horrible. Thanks for watching! No, I am of course joking. There's plenty more to the story. The reason that I gave that phone call in the first place was because that I was supposed to come visit Annabelle for a week before she started university after summer break. I decided that this was a great opportunity to come for a surprise visit, which is something that I've been wanting to do. So I gave her a phone call telling her that I wouldn't be able to come for that one week that we had planned, which by the way would have meant that I wouldn't see her for like two months or something. It was like, ah, far too much. And then directly after, I booked the plane ticket to come one week earlier than previously planned. And she suspected nothing. So here's how that all went. <laughs> Enjoy the video. Yeah, I'm on my way now. We are in Annabelle's house right now. This is sick. And she doesn't know that I'm here even. She doesn't even know that I'm here. This is Annabelle's room. Hello there, you're in for a surprise now, girl. Okay, so we're currently all set up. Now I just have to wait for her to return with her friend from Nando's and uh, then she's, uh, then hopefully she'll be happy. <laughs> it'd, be, <laughs> it'd be pretty ridiculous if she wasn't. All this effort for nothing. Let's surprise her, hopefully. Had a tour close today. Oh. <laughs> my brain's dead weight like that. Lost my keys, but don't give up. Oh, 
job. Did he? No. What? Oh my god. Alright, I'm going to leave you guys to that. how many cameras are on this Come on, son. There we are. 15 minutes, 20 minutes later. <laughs> she still stood in the corner. <laughs> How's it going? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just walking on everything. Wild donkeys. So Annabelle, how did you feel when you saw me here? Surprise. Oh no, don't do this. Uh huh. Don't do this. No, <laughs> no one will I look like this. No, you'll, you'll just be found laid on the side like that. That isn't very nice, is it? Mm -hmm. Say something. Okay. It was really nice. It was. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that! It was so much fun to get to travel to England again, surprise the best person in my life, and then to get to actually stay there and travel the country for a couple of weeks again. If you ever get the opportunity to surprise someone like this, just just go for it, because it's, it's just amazing! <laughs> Thank you for watching! Bit of a different style of editing in the end that I haven't tried before, but which I really want to get into. Again, I hope you liked it and uh, I'll see you very soon. <laughs>